Good readings and welcome back. We're playing Distant Worlds Universe with the AI Improvement Mod. Alright, so we spent last episode getting things tuned up. And I think what I'm going to do first is set up all our private sector for retrofit. Yeah, I put um, I put tractor beams in all of them. So I just want to maybe come through and retrofit them all. And there is one construction ship I want to stop. And you know what? Before I do this, I think I'm going to go do that because I'll forget. Uh, building station, building resort, building energy research. Okay. Uh, where is this ship right now? You are at finished. Oh, no. He's just getting started, I think. Compare us to... No. No, you're just getting started. So I'm going to stop that order. Yeah. I'm bar A3. Stop. And I'm just going to reissue that. Oops. Okay. He's going to reissue that uh, build order to build a energy station here. Okay, so that'll get the right design on that. So off you go. All right, and we'll come in and do these private uh, mining stations. Uh, the reason I'm doing these now is uh, that'll get me some money ahead to do the other stations. So we'll go with gas miner. What's going on with that one? Still under construction, so I'll be able to do that one. That's damaged. 83 damaged. So that's a lot of gas stations. Oh, I'll just hit retrofit on it anyways. It won't take on those two that are being built, but that's fine. Okay, and we'll do the mining stations as well. Okay, so let's see what that does for our money. 96, okay. All right, so now let's come in and do all our bases. I'm not going to worry about the fleets right now because there wasn't much of a retrofit on any of that, if any. I think I changed it to Mark 6 was the biggest thing I did with most of those designs. Um, okay, let's go to spaceports. Got a whack of mediums. Actually, you'll tear a prime. I should get that to a large should almost invest in that, and I think I will. So let's just do these ones then. I'll retrofit those so that they'll all have the... Uh... The tractor beams on them. I mean, I see there's a whack of small spaceports not done yet. Yeah, well, four of them anyways. Yeah, I think we just started those not too long ago. So I'll have to come back in and uh, see about those later. Uh, resort bases, do those quickly. Uh, defensive bases. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, I don't think we have any other bases. Nope. So I think that's it for bases. All right. So we got that done. All right. So, um... I'm building the, the armored force uh, facilities here. We'll start cranking troops out on those two places. Um, what are their population levels like? I think they're not too bad in here. Yeah, not bad. So I should be able to crank some good uh, troops out of there. That one's maxed, 0%. I guess I might as well tax that one. Uh, how happy are you? 42, so I should be able to go 30. Yep, that's fine. So we'll tax that place. You're not max, so I'll let you grow a bit more. And off we go. And wow, that's fast. Holy crap, not much of a retrofit, I guess. <laughs> Maybe we can slow that down a bit. And there goes all my money, but that's fine. Okay, so all our bases now have uh, tractor beams on them. Well, our military bases anyways. The private bases, I guess, will be uh, a minute if there's going to be shortages. 
I should almost uh, check on one of them anyways. Oh, that one's retrofitted. Okay. So they're coming along pretty good. Uh, it doesn't look like they're uh, causing any shortages. Maybe there's a bad one. Okay, that fleet did all right. Okay, the Prozac weapon testing range. We've encountered the uh, weapons testing range, a restricted area near the devouring snare system. Well, that sounds like a safe place. <laughs> uh, the area appears to affect our hyper drives. We cannot hyper jump while in this area. And uh, a broadcast message announces you have entered a restricted security zone. You must turn back and leave this area immediately. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, and that's an explorer ship doing this. Now, I don't know whether he's going to come in close enough to get to that, but... Oh, it looks like you had him on manual anyways. So we'll get him to come in closer, and hopefully that's a nice ship for us. Nice. Capital ship. Okay. Space captain. Now, we got some pretty... Bad ships here, so let's maybe get rid of some of those. Scrap. Okay, and we captured a couple by the looks of it. And I have no idea off the top of my head what advanced tech is in this game, but it doesn't look like we have any of it in this uh, particular design. No, I think that's all current tech, so I'm not going to get anything from disassembling it. So, what fleet was that? That was the 12th fleet. I think that's just a defensive fleet I was pulling out here. I'm pretty sure. Um, okay, well, maybe I'll just get you to join that 12th fleet then, since you're handy. You've got a lot of damage. Three disabled. Well, you know what? Maybe I'll get you to just to go re repair. And I'll just automate you, or leave you on automation. There. Okay. It's a frigate, but... Uh, that one has two damage as well. But I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, it's just a little... A little bit of supplemental uh, shippage in our fleet there. We're under attack. Now, I think I got fleet stances here, yes. So hopefully you'll come up and do something with that. And is that spaceport done? It is, but it's only a Mark V. Let's retrofit that right now. I can get those tractor beams in place quickly. I guess I could retrofit my uh, construction ships. What are you doing here? Oh, you are retrofit. Oh, it's because you're a Mark II. Okay. So, is that fleet coming up to help? Uh, investigate ruins. Nothing of interest. Of course not. Do I have you automated? Yes, I do. Well, that's not working out very well. They don't seem to want to come up and help out. Well, maybe it just feels that the uh, station can take care of itself. I don't know. It's kind of looking like it can. All right. Well, next time they come along, the shields will be built on that, so that'll be in a bit better position. Okay. Uh, I should almost look at my fleet's postures here as well. Now, I we do have an attack fleet, I believe, here. Yeah, that's my assault fleet. And I think the other assault fleet is there. Yeah, so those are my two assault fleets. 
Uh, they're just sort of hanging out. And I think while you're sitting there, I should make sure I'm building something, such as a small spaceport. And I am. So it's still being built. I guess I should uh, stop and think about who my uh, first set of victims are going to be here. Um, these guys are an excellent trading partner. I'd really rather not touch them. Uh, I could gobble them up. They're actually a trading partner right now, but not a very effective one, I don't think. Uh, yeah, we're making 3k off them. So I could maybe uh, grab them. Uh, there's a couple quick races over here. The Boss Garns in here. I wouldn't mind actually getting them first. Uh, if I see Boss Garns in the game, I just as soon get rid of them while, uh, while the getting's good. Because uh, they have no problems with bombarding anything. So if we ever go to war, we're in trouble. Uh, I have to get planetary shields everywhere to prevent that. Okay, there's that uh, abandoned capital ship. More storyline. Okay, galactic history uncovered. We investigate an abandoned capital ship, Devastator, at a location of Mirror Arm near the Devouring Snare system in Sector E4. A message in the ship's central computer reveals eerie details of the galaxy's past history. The message appears to be an, ar uh, an archive news broadcast reporting an intense battle in a major galactic war. FTL Intersector News breaking. Uh, reports are reaching us of a catastrophic loss in the battle against the Shaktur Axis. Freedom Alliance forces describe a shocking new development while, de while defending the Rekalia system. During the battle, the Shakturi unleashed a, a new super weapon that completely destroyed the planet Rekalius 5. Rekalius 5, I guess. Leaving behind only a rock, rocky field of uh, space debris. The deadly planet destroyer weapon came as a total surprise. The, uh, the Alliance forces were left with no option but to flee. The loss of the Rekalia system is an especially bitter blow to the Freedom Alliance following the series of disastrous defeats in the surrounding systems. In a few months since it began its conquest, the Shakhtar Axis has taken control of more than 20 sectors. The intensity of the Shakhtar onslaught is proving overwhelmingly is proving overwhelming for our overstretched Alliance forces. Admiral Kandalian, uh, Com Supreme Commander of the Freedom Alliance Forces has instructed calling governors in the Alliance Core worlds to commence emergency evacuations. And the ship appears to be in good working order, blah, blah, blah. We have taken control. Okay, and where was that? Oh, I should have went to location. I thought I did go to location. Okay, let's go to the log. Go to location, there we go. We have a capital ship. Excellent. And whereabouts are you? You are way up by the Harkonish. Thank God I got that. Uh, you can join my... Let's see what's on it first. Phaser lances. Uh, Terminator auto cannons. Ion cannon. Velocity shards. Nice. 404 firepower. Enhanced shields or advanced armor. All dimension fighter bay. Uh, Hyper Deny 4000, excellent. Yes, you are going straight to my first assault fleet. It's also have it also has a troop compartment or a couple troop compartments. Uh, multi vector phaser lances, Shadow Ghost ECM, perfect. Okay, yes, you go straight to my. First assault. All right. And I guess I might as well just give you a quick move order to get there. All right, so picked up a capital ship, and I guess I should grab that uh, explorer out of here. And I think at this point I'm just uh, automating these, aren't I? Unless there's another beacon going off somewhere. Have a quick check for that. Um... I guess I should turn these bubbles off, be easier to see them. Yeah, not seeing anything else going off at the moment, so I guess we'll have to unlock a few more things. Okay, and turn those off as well. And we'll carry on. Yeah, I think the only ship upgrade that ended up happening was the, uh, the escorts. 
I think there was something that auto upgrade did to them. And they're on automatic retrofit anyways, so I think I'll just leave that. I'm not going to worry about retrofitting any ships. I thought maybe we had a bit more tech uh, ahead of us than I originally thought. And we got 490,000 now. So we got ton. Look at the bonus income on this. Wow. Excellent. We're only at month five. I guess I should spend some of that. I got good cash flow. Um, I'm just wondering what the best thing to do would be. Uh, oops. No, 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 no. I could get a couple more defensive fleets going. And then I can maybe pull these two assault fleets out and do, do something with them. I think that might be the uh, thing to do. And what was I putting in these assault or in these defense fleets? Two carriers, two destroyers, and mostly frigates. Okay, so six, two, and two. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Ooh, we're pretty backed up here too. Okay, this isn't the only spaceport. I could. Oh, I meant to actually retrofit that. Uh, select go to. And we will retrofit to a large. There, finally get our capital port up and running. Okay, so hopefully that won't take too long. So I think I'm just going to queue them up there anyways. I, I just know that I have enough resources to do this build at Homeworld, so I'm just going to do it here. Uh, this is mostly freighters and stuff, so I don't see a huge backlog there. That'll probably clean out fairly quickly. Plus, we'll get more uh, construction yards once that upgrade's done. Okay, so frigates. Six of those. Two destroyers and two carriers. And we'll build another one. Six of those. Two destroyers and two carriers. And we'll quickly fleet those up. Oh, we got to resort, I think. All right, so up to the carriers. That's one fleet. And, oh, I think I did the same thing I did last time. Hang on. I think I put too many carriers in one fleet. Nope. Okay. All right, that looks fine. So that'll be off the assembly line shortly, I hope. I do see some pirate bases kicking around, which you can maybe go look at. So maybe once I get these uh, other fleets in place, we'll take these two assault fleets out and maybe do that. Uh, looks like I have a uh, spy ship in here. Was I planning something in here? Did I wanted to come in and have a look? Um, Boss Garns. These are Boss Garns too. Not very powerful ones, but yes, I'm almost wondering. I think that was my plan is to come over and just grab these guys up real quick. And I think I have elite troops sitting in here. Nope. No, I had to I had to uh, recruit troops. I thought I had. Let's go to the troop planner here. Uh, sort by location. Oops. I thought I had some. Oh, here's the elites here. They are in here at Oshrin. I also have them here. Yeah, I'm going to have to collect up these elites. So that means I'm going to have to get some uh, other troops on here. So I'm going to have to come up with a plan for shunting some troops, I think. Well, maybe I'll get going with these ferrets. Start building some of these ferrets. Maybe I'll get a couple of the, uh, once the uh, armor's 
facilities are built, I'll get some armor out of these as well. Um, what was that? Ah, lost it. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's an independent. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I only need uh, that robotics facility on one of these planets. It looks like I got them both now anyways, so I guess we'll just maybe get rid of one. We don't need them both. I'll get rid of that one. Save us a bit of maintenance. I don't need them on both. Uh, yeah, we'll scrap that. And we'll come into this one. And what we'll do is we'll build the armor on this one. That is the armored, right? Yep. I think they're 200 set. It require 1,200 in space to carry all those. So maybe I'll just go with the six for now. I'm just going to garrison them for the moment, and I'll uh, ungarrison them when I go to pick them up. And in this place, we'll do some infantry. That's 18 of those. Let's come in here to garrison them, it's easier. Alright. So that's some troops coming. I've just gotten in the habit of making sure all my troops are garrisoned where possible. Because you end up capturing that odd troop ship somewhere and they end up buzzing around and picking up all your troops on you. Uh, territory map swap. Yeah, I don't think so. Excellent. Ocean. Where is that? Okay, that's probably going to max out, I don't know, 15 billion somewhere in there. I guess we'll just leave him there. Now, where is... Doo -doo -doo. Uh... Fleets, invasion fleet. What kind of space we got on here? 900. I definitely got to beef up this invasion fleet. So we're going to need some more uh, troop carriers. Uh, did we see what was on their planet? Not a heck of a lot. That might be overkill on the uh, armor on this. Oh well. Yeah, I'll definitely build three more. It's up to 1,800 total space on those. Oh, man. Oh, maybe I'll build those somewhere else then. Um, steel, huh? Oh, no, that's not our steel. That's our steel. Okay. I think we should be good to rip off a few ships here. So, troop carriers... I'll just get three more for now. And I'll throw those in my first invasion. And speaking of first invasion, did that troop general get there? Yes, he did. Okay. So once those next three ships are built, that would be 1,800 space. So we'll be able to take... Um, hmm... Yeah, maybe it'll take something like 1,200 in uh, infantry and then uh, just fill up with the armor for the rest of the space. We'll definitely take some armor and make that a swift invasion. Ooh, maybe somebody else is grabbing it. Uh-oh. Who is that? The Ziltris Harmony. Ziltris Harmony. We have a free trader. They're Securians. Uh, fairly powerful, too. I get the feeling they're going to grab that. It's right beside their systems, too. Oh, I might be too late to get that. Independent colony discovered. Okay. 
Um, all right, where is it? Ooh, surrounded by pirates. It's way over there, so I don't think I'm going to worry about that too much. I guess we can speed things up a bit again. He's Harkonish, oh my god. I guess I should maybe build a few ex, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, colony ships. Wrong path. Yeah. What a dumbass. Calls himself a scientist. Oh, huh, again? Another colossal quake. Oh my god. Go to vent location. So we got two two plans with eco damage now. Alright, well, nothing we can do about it. Uh, I forget what the other eco damage planet was now, but we, we have another one that's trying to recover. Ugh. And that's kind of confusing me. We got Yelteria and we got Yeltak. I was wondering if I should rename one of those. Yeah, it's not that confusing. Alright, looks like we're on it. Perfect. Some money. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, we still got tons of cash. I wonder if I shouldn't just rush that last little sliver. Just so I don't get set back on it. I think I will. It's only 38 grand, do it. Uh, could rush that too. Do it. Better shields are always good. And that spends through a bit of our money. And another uh, ancient rune, investigate. Nothing but a beacon. So we got a beacon going off in sector B4. So close. B4, which is right over here. Now, do we have any explorer ships in the area? Oh, one right there. Perfect. Okay, we'll go see what's in here. Okay, I'm just going to come to the edge of this because sometimes these are filled with uh, space monsters. So we'll just come to the edge and hopefully I remember to come back to that. Control zero to bookmark that ship. Half yeah, mail, just wait for it here. I don't think there's much else going on at the moment. And we have. Advanced research, so we can now build that engineering facility, which I'll do right now. And we'll do that at Yoltara Prime. It's going to cost us 100 grand, so I'm glad I didn't spend all our money. And new research for high tech. What do we need? Man, I wouldn't mind getting one of these terraforming facilities, but that's a big research, I think. Yeah, it's all 3840. I don't know whether I want to worry about that. Uh, those eco damage systems will come back on their own. Planetary governance might be something to grab here soon. Just to get another reach, just to get a regional capital going. I think I'll get that now. And I'm not sure what else to go after. Maybe just enhance some of this stuff after that. Sounds like a plan. And how we do in here. So, okay, energy has spiked quite a bit. I could maybe take some of those labs off of my uh, research facility, but I think I might just leave it. 
I'll just leave it. Uh, I just want to check something. Energy. Yeah, we're getting the 25% from the location. Uh, we don't have a scientist there. If we had a scientist to put there, it would be even better. But uh, we'll just go with the location bonus for now. And we're coming up on 30 minutes, so I guess we'll round off the episode by finding out what's in here. Hopefully it's not that one that's full of, uh, there's our troop transports off the line now. Okay, let's see what we got. That's what I was afraid of. Pause. Yeah, I'm going to have to get a small fleet of fighters in here to take care of all these. Uh, there is a space station right in the middle of it here, somewhere, I think. Just can't select it, I guess. Yeah, I can sort of see half of it there. Yeah, just sort of see a little knobby of it there. So, oh uh, yeah, I'll have to get something better over here to maybe discover that. And I'm guessing that'll be more storyline, so storyline's probably halted till I get that done. So I'm just going to re-automate this ship. Actually stop it and then re-automate it. Okay. So I should... Um, I think that's under a special location mark here, isn't it? Nope. Oh, just wondering how to bookmark that to come back to. Who's in here? Terrapins. Free trade. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to get that. So I'm going to have to uh, get a fleet of uh, carriers together to do that. That's about the most effective way to take care of that many Kelters. Uh, I'm going to worry about it right now, though. Um, see how those other fleets are doing. Uh, probably the last ones here. Yeah, they're coming off now. Just starting. Okay, so uh, let's go to our first invasion. Since all those are ready to go, I'm going to come down to... Now, which one was building our armored forces? That's something I want to do right now. Is it this one? Yes. So what I'm going to do, I've kind of gotten in the habit of this, is for the name, I'm just going to go square bracket AF meaning armored forces and that just tells me this is where I'm building armored forces so I can tell at a glance just looking down here okay this is where we're doing it all right so that's the armored forces so uh, as far as picking up troops I'm going to come up to the infantry first here so I'm just going to move that fleet down into here and we are going to call this episode to a close all right so uh, couple of plans here I don't know what this what's going to happen here but uh, hopefully I can get well maybe we can get this one 77 uh, ooh ooh okay we're definitely going for this one this one has Centavia fluid on it yes we're definitely going for this one extremely rare we will definitely go for that one first so I get the feeling these guys might take this. Was there any troop transports in here? Carriers, destroyers. Yes, they do have troop transports. Four of them. So chances are they're going to grab that. I'm going to make sure I get this. Okay, so uh, that's our priority. we got to get on that. And there's probably next to nothing on it. I'm almost thinking just come down, grab the infantry, and go. Forget the armor for now. Uh, do I have any explorers in the area? Well, anyways, we'll look at that when we come back. So, yeah, interesting. So, if you're still with me, thanks for joining me, and we'll catch you next time.